Sam. He doesn't bite. Glad you made it. He's hungry. What the? There, she's down. Even though she can't drink it, my body keeps making it. Going through the motions really helps with the soreness, though. What is she? She's my daughter. And I'm her mama. It's okay. She's only connected to me. It's not like the other BTs. You can see it, right? You're hooked up. Now you know why I can't leave. So about the supercell. Do you think we grown ups could talk for a minute? Thank you. Look at this. This was the chiral density when the supercell appeared. But almost immediately after, it dropped to normal levels. In other words, the storm vanished in less than a second. That's impossible. Okay, let's pull the data from your cufflinks and take a look then. Well, that's all pretty crazy, but at least you're not. Timestamps in the logs support your story. Best guess I can muster is you were trapped between two different space times. Two different space times? HQ is doing a deeper analysis. All they've got to work with is the frequency spectrum, but with a little effort, they should be able to figure out where you were sent. <laughs> Another Cairo spike. She's been crying more at night. Chiral density increases in regions connected to the chiral network, but the numbers are way, way higher than I projected. That's bad, right? Yeah. More connections means more Chirelli. Early on, Bridges did acknowledge this as a potential problem, so... I installed special limiters in the cupids to keep the chiral levels in check. Looks like the limiter on yours is faulty, though. The supercell and the temporal phenomenon that you experienced may be related to all this. Are you saying if I keep extending the network, we might be in for more temporal phenomena? Maybe. Or worse cause another death stranding. Uh, but you got a solution. Of course I've got a solution. Right over here, in fact. We just need to integrate a limiter into this new cupid I threw together. Thought I'd make you one since you said you were coming. Crisis averted. No, crisis not averted. We need to rewrite the software to work with the new hardware. Well, then get to it. 
Yeah, um, no can do. I designed the hardware, but the software was written by someone else. Well, where can we find them? Her. The name's Lochna. She was a member of Bridges One. You'll have to head to Mountain Knot City. All right, I gotta take a Cupid there anyway. Oh, good. That's great. Oh, here we go again. I don't know what's gotten into her lately. She's so scared, look at her. Maybe the other side wants her back. Maybe she wants to go back. We can't keep on like this. That much I know. You want to tell me what happened? She was due. I was in the hospital waiting for a C-section. And the terrorists hit us. under the rubble. Nothing to do with it. Wait. And wait. Ah. Felt like forever. But no one came. They said air. And water. Life into the world. I brought death. All right. When the time fall stopped, my baby started to cry. She cried, cried, cried. Her life was the price I had to pay to survive. She saved me. together ever since but she's a bt the ties that bind her to this place bind me too you could say i've never really been discharged and you're okay with that i mean you know she's gone you want to live your life in the shadow of the dead come on <laughs> you of all people you chose the dead over the living why else would you be here I just remembered. Dead men told me repatriates have special blood. Mind if I take a sample? Yeah, sure. Suck me dry. You already believe me in my sleep. A bit cold, ain't you? Just a second. 
There. All done. I want to run a test. Mama, are you? I'm sorry, Sam. Would you mind leaving us alone for a while? Yeah. I gotta get to work. Sam? Hey, forget what I said about chiral spikes. Reconnecting the world comes first. Maybe we're making things worse. Maybe not. But it's the only plan we've got. Good luck, Sam. Sam, the delivery terminal outside still works. Go ahead and get it connected. I'll give you further instructions from there. Sam, your next objective is to bring Mountain Knot City into the network. Now, this route will take you to a way station and on to a distro center north of the city. From there, it gets tricky. You'll have to take a detour to get around the mountains. Still want me using this cupid on the way? Software's not been rewritten yet. It's fine. If you link up Mountain Knot City after your cupid is fixed, the update should filter through the network, stabilizing the connection. It's just one more reason to get there ASAP. But for now, make do with the cupid you've got. Uh huh. Any word from Mama Lee? None. We'll just have to hope she's all right and keep going. It's what she would want. Anyway, check in at Lake Knot City Southern Distro Center before you hit the road. And good luck out there. The way station you're headed for is far north of Mountain Knot, and on a patch of land carved into an island by terrorists. Right around Higgs' old stomping grounds. Still crawling with his demons, in fact. Anyway, the way station is falling apart and needs extensive repairs. Collect the supplies from the distro center and hit the road as soon as you can. Sam Bridges, that one-man expedition team. They may be cut off up here, but word still travels. We've heard all about the Great Deliverer, the BT Buster, the terrorist uh, stopper. I'm still working on that last one. <clears throat> well, I'm just stoked to meet you, man. So, what you got for us? Whoa, incredible! This will be a huge help. Thanks. You're not going to even recognize the way station when we're through. All right. All we need now is to get Jack into the network. Am I right? part of the UCA for real. We've been literally marooned on an island for way too long. I can't wait to reconnect with everyone at HQ. Patching up this place is gonna take some work, but I'm feeling revved up and ready to go like never before. We won't let our country down. Thanks, Sam. And good luck out there. Not that you need it. You're gonna hit the West Coast before you know it. Good work, Sam. Next, you need to extend the network to the distro center north of the city. Now would be a damn good time to do it, too, as they just sent out an SOS call. Info's still coming in, but it looks like there's been an accident, and we've got injured in need of assistance. Check the delivery terminal for details. Sam, the distro center north of Mountain Knot City's put in an urgent request. 
One of their staff is in critical condition following that accident I told you about. I don't know what kind of injuries he sustained, but they're asking us to deliver blood products. This is a life or death situation. Get the cargo there before it's too late. Remember, Sam, when the clock's ticking, speed is what matters most of all. Review your gear and bring only what you need to make it to your destination as fast as possible. Thank you so much. Our med team should have no trouble patching them up now. You're a lifesaver. I can't believe how fast you were. Hey, watch yourself out there. You shame to lose someone with your skills. Wasn't an accident, by the way. It was an attack. Someone slipped explosives into a parcel we processed. Separatist assholes think this land is theirs for the taking. They may be right. Any one of us could have handled that package. Fuck me. We have to be more careful. Beef up our security. At least we didn't lose anyone this time. Thank you, Sam. Really. I, uh... I hear the chiral network is coming along. You think the signal's strong enough to reach us here? Oh, I hope so. Give it a try. Huh? and his people came. They finally reached Echinoth City. There's no escape for me now. Everyone's dead, the city's destroyed, and what's left is crawling with BTs. They're everywhere. Where's your Kipu? But I was able to sneak away and reach out to you. This might be our last chance to talk like this. I just wanted you to know that I'm safe. For now. Promise me you'll keep building the Chiral Network. It's our only hope for the future. It's my only hope for freedom. And when you've finished, we can go back east together. 
Amelie, your keeper, where is it? Sam, I'll be waiting for you on the beach. Sam, I have some new info you should hear. Recently recovered thanks to your efforts to expand the chiral network. It, um, it concerns BBs. I dug this up on my own, just to be clear. No one ordered me to look. And if anyone asked, put it all on me. No need for you to deal with any blowback. You were just listening to me ramble on the wire, okay? Anyway... It looks like Bridges wasn't the first to bring back BB Tech. It was a group of separatists. Terrorists opposed to UCA expansion, according to the records. They started using them about three years ago. Right around the time Bridges 1 was putting plans in place to head west. Seems these separatists were having trouble with BTs too. And figured that if they could track them, they might be able to steer them into our path. When Bridges caught wind of this, the decision was made to fight fire with fire, to start using BBs as a countermeasure. It's possible yours was commissioned for that very purpose, a fact I think someone may have tried to conceal, judging by the absence of BB-28 service record. I always found it strange that we were so willing to utilize technology we barely understood. Now we know why. We've been aping methods and techniques employed by others from the start. There's more you should know. It's about the original Bridge Baby experiments. Piecing together what little I could find, it looks like they started around the time of the Death Stranding. They were conducted on the island of Manhattan off the East Coast, which was completely and utterly obliterated by what was almost certainly a void out. Back then, these experiments had the full support and approval of the American government. It's all just guesswork, but I suspect the BP program was conceived to help gain a better understanding of the nature of the Death Stranding. However, due to ethical and safety concerns, public opinion was strongly against the program. Still, they pressed on, and in their desperation to make sense of the greatest disaster of their age, I think they caused another. I should also mention that the president himself was killed in the blast. It was after his death, when he was succeeded by then Vice President Strand, that the experiments were suspended by executive decree. Documents were shredded, facilities were decommissioned, and every effort was made to pretend that BBs had never even existed. Which begs the question how some random separatist group was capable of resurrecting the tech decades later. I'll let you know if I turn up anything in lightning. Sam, check the delivery terminal and review the list of orders. The people of Mountain Hunt City have a pressing problem that needs to be addressed. A tar-like substance has been bubbling up from beneath the ground near them. They're seeing more of it by the minute, and it won't be long before it spreads into the city. There have already been reports of ejecta inside the outer walls. If nothing is done, the whole city might be swallowed by a sea of tar in the near future. 
There's an order from Mountain Knot City. Check the details on the delivery terminal. If the theory that tar jets are somehow connected to the beach is correct, then Mountain Knot City may very well be in danger of being consumed by the other side. Which is why they need you to close off the ones in that region before it's too late. However, if we were to use an antimatter bomb, our scientists think it might be enough to sever the connection. They used to research antimatter propulsion technology here before the first expedition. Using antimatter sequestered via the beach, believe it or not. But those experiments were eventually suspended. The researchers never came close to developing anything workable, and the dangers were deemed far too great. When Bridges One arrived, they assumed control of their facilities and antimatter stores. To minimize the risk of a catastrophic annihilation, the antimatter was partitioned using special magnetic traps. We repurposed those traps to make the bomb. Once the magnetic field is removed, the antimatter comes into contact with the casing and triggers a void out. Now, it goes without saying, but if one of these things goes off en route, we'll have a catastrophe on our hands. And to make matters worse, the traps weren't designed to be transported. Sure, the container carrying the bomb has a built-in stabilizer, but it's not something you want to tip over or drop. If those magnets fail, you're gone, along with everything else for miles around. So yeah, you could call this a dangerous delivery. But I can't think of anyone better equipped to handle it. Get it done, Sam. We're counting on you. Be advised, Sam. The case for that antimatter bomb was not designed for long-distance transport. The magnetic traps that keep the antimatter sequestered are delicate. A powerful impact, reckless driving, an unbalanced carrier. There are all kinds of ways the traps could fail. Any abnormalities detected within the case should trigger an alarm. If it goes off, you're doing it wrong. And if the bomb goes off, we'll have a disaster on our hands. The kind we can't come back from. 